An award-winning Tasmanian winery has rethought the Salador experience with the aid of a carbon-neutral brick. The initial brief was a small, intimate cellar door space. So the previous cellar door space was sort of a bedroom in their house um, next to the vineyard. And they wanted to keep the intimacy because they quite liked how small it was, but big enough to have a sort of function for you know, 16 or so close friends potentially talking about wine, sitting together. Yeah, so it was always intended to be quite small, but then also could open up into the landscape. So you could have a, a jazz on a Sunday, for example, and sit on the grass and um, make it feel quite big. Pip, how did the bricks come into play? The material palette was selected to respond to um, the way that Lou and Joe make their wine, which they're all about being as natural as possible and um, being as authentic as possible. So when we were picking materials, we wanted that and a response to the Tasmanian context and the landscape and a way to sort of ground a small building in the landscape. And so the bricks, um, the majority being from the Longford Brick Factory, was a nice Tasmanian link. I think where they pop up in different elements, they enrich the space and um, sort of uh, bring detail, but then allow the wine to be the main sort of feature and conversation starter. A smoother brick on the floor, which is um, sort of picked for the uh, practical sense of it being um, somewhat more cleanable. And then the um, rich Daniel Robertson on the walls, which gives that texture and sort of more authentic um, textural feeling. And you have them rolling inside, outside. Yeah, yeah. So the brick and the spotted gum cladding goes from veneer inside to cladding outside. The brick um, is continuous between the spaces, so it feels harmonious. There's kind of a blurring between bit occupation inside and outside. I think that's the thing I quite like is how it's not fussy. So it's well detailed, but it is yeah, quite simple materials. There's no sort of um, fuss around it, so you can yeah, hose it out. As you said, it's really robust. And it just works really well for all sorts of reasons. I think you feel like when you're kind of ensconced in all these bricks, it does feel like you're protected. So, you know, it's quite windy today, but in here you feel protected. I think people tended to think of bricks as being an older technology and moving to something new, and now they've started to realise, well, there's a reason bricks have been around forever, because they're excellent. I think you could argue that Tassie bricklayers are by far the best that we've experienced. They just take such pride in it and they do everything in terms of thinking about how you would lay the bricks in terms of bonding, what's the best way to, um, to lay them. I think at the start they thought, oh, this might be difficult, but then by the end they were kind of, oh, we could do this, we could do that, and they really enjoyed, I'd like, never done a brick floor before, and by the end they were just absolutely loving putting it down because I could see what that sort of created. 